And this corruption shall put on incorruption. He shall be brought to stand before the bar of God, to be judged of him according to their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. And if they be good, to the resurrection of endless life and happiness. And if they be evil, to the resurrection of endless damnation. And now ought you not to tremble and to repent of your sins and remember that only in and through Christ ye can be saved. Therefore, if you teach the law of Moses, also teach that it is a shadow of things which are to come, that redemption cometh through Christ the Lord, who is the very eternal Father. Amen. to death. My king, please, I believe the words which Abin and I have spoken. He tells do not be angry with Abin and I. Suffer that he might depart in peace. Cast him out. King, no, please. We should listen to this man. He speaks the truth. Slay Alma the priest. Cast him into prison. Abinadi, we have found an accusation against thee, and thou art worthy of death. For thou hast said that God himself should come down among the children of men. And now for this cause thou shalt be put to death. Unless thou wilt recall all the words which thou hast spoken evil concerning me and my people. I will not recall the words which I have spoken unto you. For they are true. And that ye may know of their surety. I have suffered myself that I have fallen into your hands. I will suffer even until death, and I will not recall my words. And they shall stand as a testimony against you. And if you slay me, you will shed innocent blood, and this will also stand as a testimony against you at the last day. Does he speak the truth? Will the judgments of God come upon me? He has reviled the king! Yeah. Yeah. Deliver him up that he might be slain. Behold, even as ye have done this unto me, so shall it come to pass that thy seed shall cause that many shall suffer the pains that I do suffer. And this because they believe in the salvation of the Lord their God. And then he shall suffer even as I suffer. Oh God! Is this my soul?
Jindai was put to death because he would not deny the commandments of God. Having sealed the truth of his words by his death, Abinadi said that whosoever has heard the words of the prophets and believes that the Lord would redeem his people and have looked forward to that day for remission of their sins, that these are his seed. For they are the heirs of the kingdom of God. For these are they whose sins he has borne. These are they for whom he has died to redeem them from their transgressions. Here are the waters of Mormon. And now, as ye are desirous to come into the fold of God and to be called his people and are willing to bear one another's burdens that they may be light. Yea, and are willing to mourn with those that mourn and comfort those that stand in need of comfort and to stand as witnesses of God at all times, and in all things, and in all places that ye may be in, even until death, that ye may be redeemed of God, and be numbered with those of the first resurrection, that ye may have eternal life. Now I say unto you, if this be the desire of your hearts, what have you against being baptized as a witness that you have entered into a covenant with him, that you will serve him and keep his commandments, that he may pour out his spirit more abundantly upon you. Alma. This is the desire of our hearts. Elam, I baptize thee having authority from the Almighty God as a testimony that you have entered into a covenant with him to serve him until you are dead as to the mortal body. And may the Spirit of the Lord be poured out upon you, and may he grant unto you eternal life. Through the redemption of Christ, whom he has prepared from the foundation of the world, troubles you. His betrayal troubles me. Our son. He seeks to destroy the church of God. We have done all we can. Even the people have been praying for him. The Lord will answer our prayers according to our faith. I 
Heavenly Father, our son, Alma, he does speak much flattery to the people, giving a chance for the enemy of God to exercise his power over them. Please, Father, we pray that he might be brought to the knowledge of the truth, that he might be convinced of the power and authority of God, that he will seek to destroy thy church no more. It's time. Are you with me? Alma, we are. But are you certain about this? We have a plan. We are with you. Arise and stand forth. For why persecutest thou the church of God? The Lord hath heard the prayers of his people, and also the prayers of thou, thy father. For he has prayed with much faith concerning thee, that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. For this purpose have I come to convince thee, that the prayers of his servants might be answered according to their faith. Now, go thy way, and seek to destroy the church no more. Even if thou wilt of thyself be cast off, What happened? An angel of God appeared to us. He descended as it were in a cloud, and he spake as it were with a voice of thunder which did cause the earth to shake. He told us to stop the work of destruction among the people, or, or we would be cast off. Go and bring others. They must know what the Lord has done for my son. Ammon. And what he has done for you. assemble ourselves together to ask thee to open the mouth of Alma's son that he might speak and also that his limbs might receive their strength that the eyes of the people might be open to see and to know the goodness and glory of God do you think you know your father this is not who you are I've rebelled against my God. This proclamation declares that no unbeliever shall persecute any of those who belong to the church of God. 
one of your father's glory on this heaven. You don't have anything. You don't have anything. There is one who will come. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to atone for the sins of the world. Jesus, the Son of God, have mercy on me. I'm in the gall of bitterness, and I'm encircled about by the everlasting chains of death. Alma, marvel not that all mankind, yea, men and women, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people must be born again, yea, born of God, changed from their carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, becoming His sons and daughters. And thus they become new creatures. repented of my sins and have been redeemed of the Lord after waiting through much tribulation repenting nigh unto death the Lord in mercy has seen fit to snatch me out of an everlasting burning and I am born of God My soul has been redeemed from the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity. abyss, but now I behold the marvelous light of God. My soul was racked with eternal torment, but I am snatched and my soul is pained no more. I rejected my Redeemer and denied that which had been spoken of by our fathers, but now will make himself manifest unto all. Yea, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess before him, yea, even at the last day, when all men shall stand to be judged of him. Then shall they confess that he is God. There's contention in the help. They will not listen. And many sufferers, they have been left without. Let me give you something, church. There is peace in the land. You sent for me. Nephi, yes. Thank you for coming. I have been pondering, and I have decided I am stepping down. I will appoint you to sit in the judgment seat, to judge and govern the people. You are a wise man. I know that you will lead our people according to the laws which have been given. Alma, you have walked in the ways of the Lord and judged righteous judgments. Why would you step down? I have seen the wickedness of the church. They lead others astray and are bringing on the destruction of our people. I've also seen the great inequality among them. They lift themselves up in pride and persecute the humble followers of God. I will retain the office of high priest. 
There is no way to reclaim this people except to stir them up in remembrance of their duty and in bearing down in pure testimony. I, Alma, have been consecrated by my father, Alma, to be a high priest over the Church of God. He began to establish a church, and he did baptize his brethren in the waters of Mormon. And they were delivered out of the hands of the people of King Noah by the mercy and power of God. And after that, they were brought into bondage by the hands of the Lamanites, and again, the Lord did deliver them out of bondage by the power of his word. And we were brought into this land. And here we began to establish the church of God. I say unto you that belong to this church, have you sufficiently retained in remembrance the captivity of your fathers? And have you sufficiently retained in remembrance his mercy and long suffering towards them? He changed their hearts. Yea, he awakened them out of a deep sleep, and they awoke unto God. Their souls were illuminated as my Father preached the word of God unto your fathers, and a mighty change was wrought in their hearts. And they humbled themselves and put their trust in the true and living God. And they were faithful until the end, therefore they were saved. And now I ask, have ye spiritually been born of God? Have ye received his image in your countenances? Have ye experienced this mighty change in your hearts? Can you imagine to yourselves that ye you hear the voice of the Lord saying unto you, Come unto me, ye blessed, for behold, your works have been the works of righteousness. Can you look up to God at that day with a pure heart and clean hands? If you have experienced a change of heart, and if you have felt to sing the song of redeeming love, can you feel so now? Could you say, if you were called to die at this time, that you have been sufficiently humble, that your garments have been cleansed and made white through the blood of Christ, who will come to redeem his people from their sins? Are you stripped of pride? I say unto you, if ye are not, ye are not prepared to meet God. The Lord God sendeth an invitation unto all men, for the arms of mercy are extended towards them, and he saith, Repent, and I will receive you. The Good Shepherd doth call you, and in his own name he doth call you, which is the name of Christ. And if ye will not hearken unto the voice of the Good Shepherd, ye are not the sheep of the Good Shepherd. I testify unto you that I do know that the things whereof I have spoken are true. I have fasted and prayed many days that I might know, and the Lord God hath made them manifest unto me by his Holy Spirit. I know that Jesus Christ shall come, yea, the Son, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and mercy and truth, and behold, it is he that cometh to take away the sins of the world, yea, the sins of every man who steadfastly believeth on his name. And now I say unto you that the Good Shepherd doth call after you. And if you will hearken unto his voice, he will bring you into his fold, and ye are his sheep. I speak by way of command unto you that belong to the church, and unto those who do not belong to the church, I speak by way of invitation, saying, Come, and be baptized unto repentance, that he also may be partakers of the fruit of the tree of life. And gather together oft, and join in fasting and mighty prayer in behalf of the welfare of the souls of those who know not God. I have come having great hopes and much desire that I should find that ye had humbled yourselves before God, that ye had continued in the supplicating of His grace, that I should find that ye were blameless before Him, and not in that awful dilemma that our brethren were in at Zarahemla. 
For behold, I say unto you, there be many things to come. There is one thing which is of more importance than they all. For behold, the time is not far distant that the Redeemer liveth and cometh among his people. He shall be born of Mary, she being a virgin, a precious and chosen vessel, who shall be overshadowed and conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost, and bring forth a son, yea, even the Son of God. And he shall go forth, suffering pains and afflictions and temptations of every kind, and this, that the word might be fulfilled, which saith, He will take upon him the pains and the sicknesses of his people. And he will take upon him death, that he may loose the bands of death which bind his people. And he will take upon him their infirmities, that his bowels may be filled with mercy according to the flesh, that he may know according to the flesh how to succor his people according to their infirmities. And he will take upon him the sins of his people, that he might blot out their transgressions according to the power of his deliverance. Ye must repent and be born again. For the Spirit saith, If ye are not born again, ye cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, come and be baptized unto repentance, that ye may be washed from your sins, that ye may have faith on the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, who is mighty to save and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. Come and fear not, and lay aside every sin which easily doth beset you, and show unto your God that ye are willing to repent of your sins, and enter into a covenant with him to keep his commandments, and witness it unto him this day by going into the waters of baptism. And whosoever doeth this shall have eternal life. Do you believe these things? Yes. Yea. I know that ye believe them by the manifestation of the Spirit which is in me. And now, because your faith is strong concerning the things which I have spoken, great is my joy. Be humble, submissive, and gentle, being diligent in keeping the commandments of God at all times, and see that you have faith, hope, and charity, and then you will always abound in good works. May the peace of God rest upon you according to your faith and good works from this time forth and forever. Amen. Alma, the high priest over the church. We do not believe in such foolish traditions. Thou hast delivered up the judgment seat unto Nephiha. Thou art not the chief judge over us. I have come to teach according to the holy order of God by which I have been called. We are not of thy church. Cast him out. Blessed art thou, Alma. Therefore lift up thy head and rejoice, for thou hast been faithful in keeping the commandments of God from the time which thou receivest thy first message from him. Behold, I am he that delivered it unto you. I am sent to command thee to return to the city of Ammonihah and preach again unto the people of the city. Say unto them, Except they repent, the Lord God will destroy them. For behold, 
They do study at this time that they may destroy the liberty of thy people. Wilt thou give a humble servant of God something to eat? I am Amulet. I am a Nephite, and I know that thou art a holy prophet of God. Thou art the man whom an angel said in a vision thou shalt receive. Go with me into my house, and I will impart unto thee of my food. I know that thou wilt be a blessing unto me in my house. I give thanks to God for bringing us together. May he bless you and your house. I am Alma, and am the high priest over the church of God throughout the land. I have been called to preach the word of God among this people. Because thou hast fed me and taken me in, thou art blessed. It is an honor for us to welcome a servant of the Lord into our home. You may tarry with us for as many days as you wish. come unto me, saying, Go, and also say unto my servant Amulek, Go forth, and prophesy unto this people. I need some assistance in the dispute over some land. Where is the land? It's just outside of the city. Excellent. It's within our jurisdiction. That'll be two seamers. Faith on his name. Yea, and I will not turn my fierce anger away. Who art thou? Shall we believe the testimony of one man? Yezrim is right. We will not believe thy words if thou shouldst prophesy that this great city should be destroyed in one day. Who is God? that sendeth no more authority than one man to declare unto us the truth of such great and marvelous things. O oh, ye wicked and perverse generation! How soon have ye forgotten the commandments of God? Do ye not remember? If this people who have received so many blessings from the hand of the Lord should transgress contrary to the light and knowledge which they do have and will rebel against Him, ye shall utterly be destroyed from off the face of the earth. And now, that ye may not be destroyed. We cry mightily unto this people, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand. Not many days hence the Son of God shall come in his glory, and his glory shall be the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace, equity, and truth, full of patience, mercy, and long suffering, quick to hear the cries of his people and to answer their prayers. And behold, he cometh to redeem those who will be baptized unto repentance through faith on his name. And now, my beloved brethren, for ye are my brethren, and ye ought to be beloved. And ye ought to bring forth works which are meet for repentance. Cast him into prison. No! No! Stop! Stop! People of Ammonihah, I am Amulek, a descendant of Nephi, who is the son of Lehi. I am a man of no small reputation among all those who know me. I was called by the Lord many times, and I would not hear, but I went on rebelling against God. As I was journeying to see a very near kindred, an angel of the Lord appeared unto me and said, Amulek, return to thine own house. And I obeyed the voice of the angel, and I found the man whom the angel said to receive into my house. Behold, it was this same man who has been speaking unto you concerning the things of God. You say an angel hath made these things out of you? <laughs> O oh, ye wicked and perverse generation, ye lawyers and hypocrites, 
for ye are laying traps and snares to catch the holy ones of God. Ye are laying plans to pervert the ways of the righteous even unto the utter destruction of this people. If it were not for the prayers of the righteous, ye would even now be visited with utter destruction. If ye will cast out the righteous from among you, then will not the Lord stay his hand? And the time is soon at hand, except ye repent. This man doth revile against our laws, which are just, and our wise lawyers, whom we have selected. Why hath Satan got such great hold upon your hearts? Have I testified against your law? I have not. I have spoken in favor of your law to your condemnation. The foundation of the destruction of this people is beginning to be laid by the unrighteousness of your lawyers and judges. Now we know this man is a child of the devil, for he hath lied unto us, for he hath spoken against our law, and now he says he has not spoken against it. Will ye answer me a few questions which I shall ask you? Yea, if it be according to the Spirit of the Lord which is in me, for I shall say nothing which is contrary to the Spirit of the Lord. Behold, here are six on ties of silver. And all these will I give thee, if thou wilt deny the existence of a supreme being. O oh, thou child of hell, why tempt ye me? Knowest thou that the righteous yieldeth to no such temptations? Believest thou that there is no God? I say unto you, Nay, thou knowest that there is a God, but thou lovest that lucre more than him. Thou hast lied before God unto me. Thou saidst, I will give unto thee six ties, when thou hadst it in thy heart to retain them from me. And it was only thy desire that I should deny the true and living God, that thou might have cause to destroy me. Thou sayest there is a true and living God? Yea, there is a true and living God. Is there more than one God? No. How knowest thou these things? An angel hath made them known unto me. Who is he that shall come? Is it the Son of God? Yea. Shall he save his people in their sins? He shall not, for it is impossible for him to deny his word. See that ye remember these things. For he said, There is but one God. Yet he saith that the Son of God shall come, but he shall not save his people, as though he had authority to command God. Behold, thou hast lied. And I say unto thee again that he cannot save them in their sins, for I cannot deny his word. He hath said that no one clean thing can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, how can ye be saved except ye inherit the kingdom of heaven? Therefore, ye cannot be saved in your sins. The Son of God shall come into the world to redeem his people, and he shall take upon him the transgressions of those who believe on his name. And these are they that shall have eternal life, and salvation cometh to none else. Therefore, the wicked remain as though there had been no redemption made, except it be the loosing of the bands of death. For behold, the day cometh that all shall rise from the dead and stand before God, and be judged according to their works. The death of Christ shall loose the bands of death, that all shall be raised from death. The spirit and the body shall be reunited again in its perfect form. Both limb and joint shall be restored to its proper frame, even as we now are at this time. And we shall be brought to stand before God, knowing even as we know now, and have a bright recollection of all our guilt. This restoration shall come to all both old and young, both bond and free, both male and female, both the wicked and the righteous, and even there shall not so much as a hair of their heads be lost. But everything shall be restored to its perfect frame, and they shall be brought before the bar of Christ the Son, and God the Father and the Holy Spirit, which is one eternal God, to be judged according to their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. This mortal body is raised to an immortal body, that is from death, even from the first death unto life, that they can die no more. Their spirits uniting with their body is never to be divided, thus the whole becoming spiritual and immortal, that they can no more see corruption. Zeezrom, thou hast not lied unto men only, but thou hast lied unto God. He knows all thy thoughts, and they are made known unto us by his Spirit.
We know that thy plan was to deceive this people, that thou might set them against us, to revile us and to cast us out. Now what I say unto you, I say unto all. This was a snare of the adversary, that he might bring you into subjection unto him, that he might encircle you with his chains to everlasting destruction. What does this mean, that all men shall rise from the dead, to stand before God, to be judged according to their works? It is given unto many to know the mysteries of God according to the heed and diligence which they give unto Him. But if they have hardened their hearts, to them is given the lesser portion of the word until they know nothing concerning His mysteries. And then they are taken captive by the devil and led by his will down to destruction. And this is what is meant by the chains of hell. And if we have hardened our hearts against the word insomuch that has not been found in us, then will our state be awful, for then we shall be condemned. There was a space granted unto man in which he might repent. And this life became a probationary state, a time to prepare to meet God, a time to prepare for that endless state which has been spoken of by us, which is after the resurrection of the dead. Now, if it had not been for the plan of redemption which was laid from the foundation of the world, there could have been no resurrection of the dead. But there was a plan of redemption laid, which shall bring to pass the resurrection of which has been spoken. God gave unto men commandments, after having made known unto them the plan of redemption, that they should not do evil. And he has said, If ye will repent and harden not your hearts, then will I have mercy upon you through mine only begotten Son. Therefore, whosoever repenteth and hardeneth not his heart, he shall have claim upon mercy through mine only begotten Son unto a remission of his sins, and these shall enter into my rest. I would that you would humble yourselves before God and bring forth fruit meet for repentance, that you may also enter into that rest. Now is the time to repent, for the day of salvation draweth nigh, and I wish from the inmost part of my heart that you would hearken unto my words and cast off your sins and not procrastinate the day of your repentance, but that you would humble yourselves before the Lord and call on his holy name and watch and pray continually that you may not be tempted above that which he can bear and thus be led by his Holy Spirit, becoming humble, meek, submissive, patient, full of love, and all long-suffering, having faith on the Lord, having a hope that ye shall receive eternal life, having the love of God always in your hearts that ye may be lifted up at the last day and enter into his rest. You speak of repentance. What shall we do? No! Why should we listen to these men? Amulek has lied to us. These men have reviled against our law. Yes! And also against our lawyers and judges. Yes. They have reviled all the people that are in this land. Yes. 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 I am guilty. These men are spotless before God. Do you believe the words of this so-called prophet? Away with them! No! Burn the believers, white no! man! No! No! You dare challenge my authority? Behold, I am guilty, and these men are spotless. These before men God. are blasphemers. Away with them! Take these men away! Take them out of my court! exercise the power of God which is in us and save them from the flames. This 
spirit constraineth me that I must not stretch forth my hand. The Lord receiveth them up unto himself in glory. He doth suffer that they may do this. But the judgments which he shall exercise upon them in his wrath may be just. Perhaps they will burn us also. Be it according to the will of the Lord. But behold, our work is not finished. Therefore they burn us not. After what ye have seen, will ye preach again unto this people? You see that ye had not power to save those who had been cast into the fire. Neither has God saved them because they were of thy faith. What say ye for yourselves? Test them into prison. And again and judge this people and condemn our law if ye have the power of God deliver yourselves from these bands then we will believe that the Lord will destroy this people according to your words Suffer these great afflictions, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, give us strength according to our faith, which is in Christ, even unto deliverance. unto salvation? Yea. I believe all the works that thou hast taught. If thou believest in the redemption of Christ, thou canst be healed. I, 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 oh Lord our God, have mercy on this man and heal him according to his faith which is in Christ.
fasted much and prayed much that the Lord might grant unto us a portion of his spirit. Remember the Lord's promise to our Father that many shall believe on our words. He will deliver us out of the hands of the Lamanites. The Lord said unto us, if we are patient in our long suffering and afflictions and show forth good examples unto them, we will witness the salvation of many souls. Lord, grant unto us a portion of thy spirit to go with us and abide with us, that we might be an instrument in thy hands to bring, if it is possible, our brethren, the Lamanites, to the knowledge of the truth. Nephite has been captured in the borders of our land. Bring the dissenter to me. I will decide if he will be slain or cast into prison. Why do you venture into our land? I desire to dwell among this people for a time. Perhaps until the day I die. This Nephite pleases me. Loose his bands. I would that you should take one of my daughters to wife. I thank you, but nay. I will be thy servant. You shall be set among my other servants to watch my flocks.
king will slay us as he has our brethren because their flocks are scattered. Let us go in search of the flocks and we will gather them together. We will preserve the flocks unto the king and he will not slay us. Circle the flocks. Now we're going to contend with these men. What is this? My king, we have come to tell you of the faithfulness and great power of Ammon, the Nephite. What has he done? At the water of Sebus, men attempted to scatter your flocks, but Ammon stood forth and defended them. He smote off every arm that was raised against him. Surely this is more than a man. Is not this the great spirit that doth send such great punishments upon this people because of their murders? Whether he be the great spirit or a man, we know not. But this much we do know, that he cannot be slain by the enemies of the king. This is the great spirit of whom our fathers have spoken. slain many of these men's brethren. I suppose that whatever I did was right. But I fear that I have done wrong in slaying my servants. Where is this man that has such great power? He is feeding my horses. Surely there has not been any servant among all my servants that has been so faithful as this man. For even he doth remember all my commandments to execute them. Now I surely know that this is the great spirit. And I would desire him that he come in unto me. But I thirst not. What desirest thou of me? Is it because thou hast heard that I defended thy servants and thy flocks? What is it that thy marvelings are so great? Behold, I am a man, and am thy servant. Therefore, whatsoever thou desirest, which is right, that will I do. Who art thou? Art thou that great spirit who knows all things? I am not. Then how knowest thou the thoughts of my heart? Thou mayest speak boldly, and tell me concerning these things. If thou wilt tell me concerning these things, Whatsoever thou desirest, I will give unto thee. 
And if it were needed, I would guard thee with my armies. But I know that thou art more powerful than all they. Nevertheless, whatsoever thou desirest of me, I will grant it unto thee. Wilt thou hearken unto my words if I tell thee by what power I do these things? Yea, I will believe all thy words. Believest thou that there is a God? I do not know what that meaneth. Believest thou that there is a great spirit? Yea. This is God. Believest thou that this great spirit, who is God, created all things which are in the heaven and in the earth? Yea, I believe that he created all things which are in the earth. But I do not know the heavens. The heavens is a place where God dwells and all his holy angels. Is it above the earth? Yea. And he looketh down upon all the children of men. And he knows all the thoughts and intents of the heart. I believe all the things which thou hast spoken. Art thou sent from God? I am a man. And I am called by his Holy Spirit to teach these things unto this people, that they may be brought to a knowledge of that which is just and true. And a portion of that Spirit dwelleth in me, which giveth me knowledge and also power according to my faith and desires which are in God. I desire that you should teach me. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God saw, and it was good. And after Adam and Eve had partaken of the forbidden fruit, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden. And the Messiah cometh in the fullness of time that he may redeem the children of men from the fall. And he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin. And he shall be called Jesus Christ.